Okay, like a lot of people, I've been struggling with the Nook Color Phantom multi-touch screen issue. Um, I have my Nook here. It's plugged into USB power supply. And I'm going to sh share a few trips, tricks that I found for dealing with this. I've got three shortcuts on my desktop. The first one is multi-touch test. Right now I'm plugged in to the USB power supply. So you can see I've got the red and the blue. I'm going to turn the power supply off and now it works fine. I've just got my my finger. So power on, I get the glitch. Power off, it's fine. So that's my first tip is that this shortcut to the the multi-touch test is extremely useful because it shows whether or not it's happening. Um, otherwise you just feel like you're going insane and the thing's out of control. Um, the other shortcut that I've got is an SSH daemon. So you can drive it from the command line if you need to do powerful stuff and God help you if you need to do keyboard stuff as root with uh, this, this glitch happening. The other thing is the VNC server. Right now I have it running and I'm connected through it from my laptop. And the great thing here is that you can drive it from the keyboard. The mouse tracking and the screen updates are really slow but I'm typing up, up, right, right. I want to go over to Reddit. I hit return to, to open it. I can use the up and down arrows. I can use return to open something, escape to exit it. And as usual, Reddit is slow. So I can move through. Even if the screen updates are slow, you can go pretty darn quickly from the keyboard. So I'll exit that. So that's really the key is to get these shortcuts on the desktop so that when you have the problem, you can, you can fix it. So the multi-touch test and then the VNC server and then the SSH, I guess, would be optional. Okay, thanks.